Hello YouTubers, today I'll be showing you how to burn a downloaded DVD file from the internet straight onto a DVD and make a menu and look cool stuff of it. Okay? And if you look on my videos before I made this one, it'll show you how to download that file for free. Right, first you want to go to Google and download DVD clip. You want to go to the fourth one down. Just wait for it to load a bit. Um, I'm going to click download. Just wait for it. Free download. There we go. Right, now you want to run it. Run. Next. I accept. Next. Next. Uh, yeah, it's because I already had that installed, but this one come up for you. Yes. Next. Next. So, right now, you want to click next. Finish. Oh, you don't have to install these. Uh, next. That's it, done. Right, now you want to open DVD flick. Now you want to add title. Uh, final one, I'm going to do Snakes in the Plane. Uh, go to project settings, change it, uh, Snakes in the Plane. Nice and plain. Uh, you can set it to DVD. Uh, yeah, DVD 4.3. That's what I keep it to. And if it uses defaults, that's what I come up with normally. Um, choose your ones. Choose it. Anything. I want a burn project to disk. Nice and plain. Accept. Um, you can create a menu as well. If you use anyone. I'm just going to do it simple for that one. Set um, edit title, you can do whatever widescreen, small, anything. Um, you can make chapters, chapters every uh, let's do 15 minutes. Except uh, now you want to this bit's important. You see this bar down the side, the orange bar, that's how much um, it will fit on your DVD. So if you pick so if you pick um, uh, 800 megabytes and it goes, it goes to 100%, that's not it, that, that won't work. So you want to make it just below it, so let's just do 4.3. So, um, right, this bit's important as well, you want to create a folder that's got nothing in it, um, and you don't mind anything in it being deleted, because it will delete it temporarily. Okay, now I'm going to go OK because I've already got that folder. I'm going to create DVD. It says, yeah, that's what I just said, yes. OK, now you just have to wait. It's about two hours you'll have to wait for this to finish it all. And don't forget to put your DVD in first. Two hours you'll have to wait, then it'll be 99.9% .9 of the time it'll work on every single DVD player. Thanks.